What's going on? It's Jack Varnish here, and I'm gonna be doing a bag check for you guys. So, kicking it off, this is the bag that I use. It is a uh, Dynamic Discs Combat Sniper bag. It's been very good for me in terms of portability, storage, size, all the, all the above. So, yeah, we'll kick it off with my distance drivers here. So, currently I am bagging five distance drivers. Starting it off, I have my uh, my Ballista Pro. This is an Opto Glimmer plastic, and this thing has been absolutely amazing for me in terms of overstability. It's been working great for those shots that I need to force over on Anheuser, or even just throwing flat, and I need a really sharp, harsh turn to the left. Next up, I have my Purple Destroyer. I bagged two destroyers. This is my purple one. This one has been really good for those shots that I need to be, have a little more overstable. I love the mold of the Destroyer. It's one of my most comfortable drivers that I use. This one is really good because I can put it on Anheuser and I can depend on it to come back and fade back over to the right on forehand or on backhand. So that's been great for me. Then I have my, my Red Destroyer. The stamp on it is basically gone, but it is, um, it's a little more beat in, a little more understable than the Purple Destroyer. So this thing has been really good for those forehand shots where I need it to hold an Anheuser and it'll just pretty much coast. And those backhand shots where I can depend on it to go straight, I can even force it over on a little bit and kind of allow for it to fade back nice and slow. Lastly, I have this uh, Dynamic Discs Maverick. I got it at a tournament. This thing has been really good for some of those slower, maybe even understable to straight shots. So I've been really enjoying this. I can bomb this disc really well. So it's been really good for those distance shots. And lastly, a disc that I found here is a, a Mamba. This is my roller disc or a disc that I need a really slow, constant turn on a backhand. I don't really use this as forehand as much, but it's been really great for me in terms of backhand that I really need something nice and understable. Next up are my fairway drivers. I'm bagging two fairway drivers. First off, we have a uh, Star Invictus. This is the Ricky Wysocki edition. This thing has been really great for those overstable shots. I basically say it's a slower, slower type of Opto Ballista. So I've been really enjoying it. I can force it over on Anheuser and will pretty much turn back to flat before fading really harsh to the left. I've also been using this on forehand when I need something nice and overstable. So it's been treating me well. Next up, I have my F5. This disc, I've thrown it a little more. It's gotten a little beat in. So it's a really great straight to slightly understable disc. So I can throw it straight and it'll get a slight little turn before coming back and slowly fading out to the left. And it just works really great for those straight like tunnel shots or anything like that, that I need a decent bit of distance. Moving on to mid ranges. I'm also bagging two mid ranges right now. I have my uh, Innova Champ Rock 3. This thing has been really good for those shots on backhand where I can throw it flat and it'll just get a really nice slow forward penetrating fade to the left. Next up, probably my favorite mid-range, I have a uh, ESB Buzz. This thing has been really great for those straight shots that will turn a little bit to the right maybe before coming back to the left, or straight, you can put a little less power on and it'll go straight and then a tiny little fade to the left. So it's been really great for those shorter tunnel shots and some of the things that I have to be really precise and keep it nice and low to the ground with. Next up, I have my approach putters. So starting it off is my uh, Big Z Zone. This disc has been fantastic in terms of my forehand and my backhand shots. I can throw it off the tee, I can throw it for up shots. It's great for scrambling because it's overstable enough. I can put it on pretty much a forehand roller angle and it'll flatten out towards the end of the flight. So this disc has been a great workhorse for my, in my approach category. Next up, I'm bagging a uh, DX Rhino. This thing is a little more beaten, so I've been really enjoying it for my slower shots with a little overstable finish at the end. It's nice and comfortable in the hand. I don't really throw it as much off the tee, but it's a good shot that I can use if I'm in the middle of the fairway and I just kind of need pinpoint accuracy with slight overstability. Next up, I have my uh, Pure. This disc was really neutral when I bought it, but it's gotten quite a bit of uh, wear and tear on it. And so it's been really great for those Anheuser up shots that I need to throw at Anheuser and have it hold the whole way. I can throw it flat and it'll go dead straight and land straight. So it's been really great for those pinpoint dead straight approaches, similar to the Rhino, just a little more understable. And it's really comfortable in the hand with this plastic. Now moving on to my putting putters. I am currently putting with two Axiom proxies right now. They're in the uh, Electron Firm plastic. 
which I've been really, really digging. I love the firm, the firm feel of putters. They have a tiny little bead on them and they've been really neutral, which I've liked for my putting. I can put them on Anheuser and they hold it the whole way. I can put them on Heiser and it'll hold out the whole way. I can throw a flat, it'll hold it the whole way. So these things have been great for putting for me and I've been really enjoying it. That's my bag check. Thanks for watching.